great Thursday evening. Happy Thanksgiving night. Hope you had a wonderful day celebrating God's goodness, his faithfulness, his blessings to us all. We are in the ninth chapter of Esther and it reiterates how the Lord turned all of our mourning, our sad days into gladness. And that's reiterated in verse 17. And they, the Jews had a day of fasting and celebration. Fasting, but then it turned into feasting. Amen. And that's what we do. We gather with our families and friends. And in verse 19, it says that they gave portions of food to neighbors, one another. And that's what we do. We take carry out plates and we deliver it to those who can't get out, the sick and shut in, the neighbors, right? Hopefully we did that. And in verse 22, again, the Lord turned their bleakness, their, their state of being dismal and their grayness into a day of celebration, feasting, great joy. And they gave portions to the poor and those who could not afford to get out. And just enjoy festivities. Know that even if you were by yourself, you had the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. And also in this chapter, it talks about how, wow, Haman's sons had to pay the price of their father's foolishness, right? They were hung in poles and <sighs> Esther was able to be blessed. The Jews were, be, were being saved and Mordecai kept on being promoted to great heights. And know that the Lord can turn around any of the circumstances that look hopeless. Mm -mm. With the Lord, everything has a chance because we have the faith and the trust in our Father. All right, I'm gonna pass it to smoke this. Okay. Uh... I don't know if they could hear you back there. And I think you had verse 28 or 27. I, you know, but it, the verse I was I said was like, uh, you can't forget. It was talking about like the tradition that they had, and like you can't be forgetting. That's twenty eight. Yeah, you, know, you can't forget where you came from, and like the traditions handled in your family, or it don't have to be like by your family, just traditions that had that helped you, um, so you can pass it on to your offspring or people you meet mm -hmm. in your life. Right, and that's from verse 28 where it says that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation. You talked about how because of the sacrifice of the past that you are more determined to not just take for granted the opportunities that you have. You need to talk about that, Timotheus. But it says to be remembered and kept throughout every generation so that we can do the will of God and it says to be kept in every family, province, and every city. So we are to remember those who came before us so that we could do great things and celebrate God's faithfulness. You, so what is your determination? You have a couple more days before going back to college, and they need to hear you, Timotheus. Um, just to make my ancestors proud and make sure they didn't, their work wasn't in vain. Did you all hear that? To make his ancestors proud and to make sure that their gifts and their sacrifices were not given in vain. Amen. We all have a price to pay and we pay homage to those who have blessed us. Well, today is November 28th. We go to Proverbs 28. What I would say is that a faithful man shall abound with blessings. When we're faithful, when we do the work of the Lord, we will see that we have overflow. People want to have the prosperous life, but know that when we seek the Lord, he will make sure that we will be able to do great things. Also in verse 25, he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. So if you want to have the abundant life, continue to bless the Lord and put your faith in him and he will take you to higher heights. And also he that tilleth, Timotheus, when you till your land, when you work your land, when you do the work, it says in Genesis that man shall make his living by the sweat of his face, the sweat of his brow. 
but when you work hard, you're going to see return. And you know our ancestors worked hard. And they were able to pass down the blessings to the next generation. So we honor our families, we honor our ancestors, and we want our descendants to have the blessings of those who came before us and the blessings that the Lord has in store for all of his children. Hope you have a wonderful evening of rest. Have a wonderful remaining uh, Thanksgiving. And know, and know that God is worthy to be praised and blessed every day of the year. Good night.